First Chronicles, chapter 15. David built houses for himself in the city of David, and he prepared a place for the ark of God and pitched a tent for it. Then David said that no one but the Levites may carry the ark of God, for the Lord had chosen them to carry the ark of the Lord and to minister to him forever. And David assembled all Israel at Jerusalem to bring up the ark of the Lord to its place, which he had prepared for it. And David gathered together the sons of Aaron the Levites, of the sons of Kohat, Uriel the chief, with a hundred and twenty of his brothers, of the sons of Mariah, Isaiah the chief, with two hundred and twenty of his brothers, of the sons of Gershom, Joel the chief, with a hundred and thirty of his brothers, of the sons of El Zaphan, Shemaiah the chief, with two hundred of his brothers, of the sons of Hebron, Elil the chief, with eighty of his brothers, of the sons of Uzael, Aminadab the chief, with a hundred and twelve of his brothers. Then David summoned the priests Zadok and Abiathar, and the Levites Uriel, Isaiah, Joel, Shemaiah, Eliel, and Aminadab, and said to them, You are the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites. Consecrate yourselves, you and your brothers, so that you may bring up the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel, to the place that I have prepared for it. Because you did not carry it the first time, the Lord our God broke out against us, because we did not seek him according to the rule. So the priests and the Levites consecrated themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel. And the Levites carried the ark of God on their shoulders with the poles, as Moses had commanded according to the word of the Lord. David also commanded the chiefs of the Levites to appoint their brothers as the singers who should play loudly on musical instruments, on harps and lyres and cymbals, to raise sounds of joy. So the Levites appointed Heman the son of Joel, and of his brothers Asaph the son of Berkiah, and the sons of Meriah, their brothers Ethan the sons of Cushiah, and with them their brothers of the second order, Zechariah, Jaziel, Shemarot, Jehiel, Uni, Eliab, Baniah, Meshiah, Mittatiah, Eliphuel, and Mikaniah, and the gatekeepers Obadon and Jeel. The singers Haman, Asaph, and Ethan were, oh, so, were to sound bronze cymbals. Zechariah, Aziel, Shimarat, Jenny, Uni, Eliab, Messiah, and Benaiah were to play harps according to Almanath. But Mattiah, Eliphelu, Mikaniah, Obadidom, Jeel, and Azaziah were to lead with lyres according to the Shemit. Janiah, leader of the Levites in music, should direct the music, for he understood it. Berechiah and Elkanah were to be gatekeepers for the ark. Shebaniah, Joshaphat, Nathaniel, Amaziah, Zechariah, Banatiah, and Eleazar, the priests, should blow the trumpets before the ark of God. Obedidom and Jehadiah were to be the gatekeepers for the ark. So David and the elders of Israel and the commanders of thousands went up to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord from the house of Obed-Edom with rejoicing. And because God helped the Levites who were carrying the ark of the covenant of the Lord, they sacrificed seven bulls and seven rams. David was clothed with a robe of fine linen, as also were all the Levites who were carrying the ark and the singers and Chenahiah, the leader of the music of the singers. And David wore a linen effort. So all Israel brought up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord with shouting to the sound of the horn, trumpets and cymbals and music, and made loud music on harps and lyres. And as the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord came to the city of David, Michal, the daughter of Saul, looked out of the window and saw King David dancing and celebrating and she despised him in her heart.